Oak Ridge National Laboratory is the largest U.S. Department of Energy science and energy laboratory, conducting basic and applied research to deliver transformative solutions to compelling problems in energy and security. In 2012, the Manufacturing Demonstration Facility was established at ORNL to help industry adopt new technologies, lower production costs, and create new products. It has done all that and much more. Manufacturing Demonstration Facility is a really unique place. Uh, it started back in 2012 with the idea that we really need to put central points where you could start bringing industry and what they're developing with individuals that are looking at supply chains, trying to understand new materials, how you use those processes, really being able to then take advantage of the National Laboratory System. Early on, we made a critical decision as we were standing up the Manufacturing Demonstration Facility that we needed the, the best material scientists, we needed the best systems engineers, we needed the best you know, modeling people, characterization people, data analytics, and we brought them all together. We had the ability to take an idea today and then tomorrow turned into a, a real component. We also had a very uh, a big focus on additive manufacturing composites at the beginning. And now we're into areas like machining, automation, and robotics. We have really grown the composites uh, portfolio, the digital factory of the future. And so things have really gone through and, and blossomed and a lot more hybrid technologies and how you integrate and incorporate these have, have come out of this. With that, failure comes. Our biggest successes were really a culmination of a bunch of small failures, if you may, but you learned in every one of those steps. This is where data analytics, as you're hearing more about machine learning and so forth, has really thrived in the MDF because your data analytics people can develop a new algorithm today, actually apply it tomorrow, learn from that, pull the data back, and then apply it yet again. From 2012 to about 2018, uh, we built from zero systems to about uh, 35 systems. To give you some sense of how quickly is this evolving as time goes on, uh, in the last two years, uh, we've, we've doubled that. We went from 30, 35 systems to over 80 systems. Uh, we went from uh, about 54 people uh, a year and a half ago to now we have over 100 people dedicated to manufacturing every day. What's really core of the MDF is working with the supply chain and the industry. Industry knows better than anybody where the real manufacturing challenges are at. I, I tell people that, that we do about 20% of the real work. Industry has about 80% of the solution already. We're just there to provide that 20% kick to, to really, really push it over the finish line. The secret sauce of the MDF is that it is a collaborative environment and there's a lot of smart people in the room. Um, and, and given that broad expertise, when you do run into roadblocks where either you don't know the answer or you just need a fresh perspective, really it's just a matter of walking down the hall. You will find somebody that knows more about what you're working on than you do. A lot of those ideas, again, come from our, our partners, not only industry, but also universities. And then we bring our expertise, we build on it, and then we move the ideas forward. So we're constantly working those next ideas. One of the mantras we've had here is it takes three things to, to, in terms of manufacturing to really leapfrog people. You need to be able to model things so you understand it. You need to make things so you can make them. And then you need to be able to measure it. You can't have one without the other. There's three legs of the stool. The vast majority of our industry that we work with they're from the U.S. Most of them are small, medium-sized enterprise, less than 500. You know, these companies want to have commercial success. We have commercial success. That's exactly what DOE wants. At the end of the day, they want energy savings. They want jobs. They want to produce, you know, manufacture goods here in the United States. I think there's a perfect match between what the government wants and what industry wants. We've really tried to make it very easy for industry to come in say, here's my problem, H how do I accelerate this? Uh, and in the end, their success is our success. The Manufacturing Demonstration Facility at Oak Ridge National Laboratory is helping to bring the future of manufacturing to today's world and succeeding.